The following case is real. The kids are real. The decision is final. Lily claims her best friend Vera wouldn't give her a bite of her pancakes. Vera says Lily should have been happy with her spinach omelet. It's breakfast, served with a side of justice on today's Kids Court. All rise. Kids Court is now in session. The honorable and available Andy Kindler presiding. You may all sit down, everybody, please. Make yourself comfortable. Lily? Yes? Explain your case to me. Well, Vera and I went to breakfast, and I ordered an omelet, and she ordered pancakes. And I asked her for a bite of her pancakes. Those were her pancakes? Yes. And they were gigantic, and she wouldn't give me a bite. What damages are you seeking in this case? I would like pancakes served to me in my bed. In your bed? Yes. Vera, would you, say, would you classify your relationship as best friends? Yes, I would say we're best friends. Would you? OK, why did you not share your pancakes? Well, we both had a menu. And she looked at the menu. She ordered her omelet. I ordered a pancake. And she should be happy with what she gets. You get what you get, and you don't get upset. Did you get that from Tony Robbins? It's been around for a long time. Wouldn't it make you feel better to have her have some of the pancake? Give her some pancake, for goodness sake, if you needed to rhyme like your other slogan. Well, she had a chance to order, and she could have ordered a pancake instead. Where is the anger coming from? I hear a lot. I feel a lot of anger. Bernie, did you feel that? I do. It's like breakfast became a Grisham novel. It's like breakfast became a Grisham novel. Hello? Uh, please, please, there will be no outbursts or recognition of any of our references. Please. Are you tired? You want us to get you a bed over there? No, I think a chair would be good. A chair would be, this is a courtroom. This isn't a playground. This is not an area that we, we, we sit around and. Uh, but you're in a chair. I am the. <laughs> First of all, don't one up me. That's, that's not. Where does it say? That's a mouthful of sass, Your Honor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> where, is it, where is it written that the person on trial all of a sudden gets the funny lines? Uh, section 2, Article 1. OK. So when you ordered the uh, omelet, were you in the mood for eggs at the time? Yes. Do you like spinach normally? Yes. You do? Why? Here's the problem. You don't put spinach in an omelet. Nobody likes spinach. It's a scam. The spinach company. <laughs> It's a multinational group of people. They run everything. <laughs> Pot, they got Popeye in on it. Spinach is terrible. Everyone agrees. It's a joke. Secondly of all, people hate omelets. <laughs> omelets should be illegal to begin with. You should have known what you were getting into. Did you finish the pancakes? Well, I wanted to have the first bite of my pancake that I ordered. And I was pretty full after that first bite. This can't be happening. This is. This is I cannot believe this case has come. With all of the important issues facing the world, this is the case that comes this before me. This plate of pancakes could have served 17 people, it sounds like. Yeah, you were full after a bite, but you don't want your, your friend Lily to have any joy. Is that what's happening? If, if, if you lose this case, you know what's going to happen here. You have to bring over pancakes. Well, if I have to serve her pancakes, it didn't say exactly what she wanted the pancakes to be made out of. Again with the anger. What is going on? Are you two? I would what? like these kinds of pancakes, Vera. Is there some kind of argument? Is this, in, an, in a sense, not about the pancakes? It is, is it about possible? the pancakes. It is, it is about just about the pancakes? The pan There's yeah, no other uh, issue? No Did other Did you two issue. go into business together and uh, uh, to, to manufacture something and then it went south? And now you're looking away to cut ties? No, no, no. Then we would have a case about that. More sass, Your Honor. This is going to be a very, very tough decision for me because I really don't care about this case that much. <laughs> I'm not getting any pancakes. I'm not getting any uh, omelets. I'm not getting any spinach. What do you think, Bernie? I think uh, spinach is for closers, sir. Let's, let's wrap this up. I will now take a short recess and will return with my decision. Come on, let's do it. Let's, uh, how about me? Bring me in. Come on. Go 
over here. Come on. I have come to my decision. That's my job, and that's what I did. I am ruling that you can no longer be friends. Judgment is friendship dissolved. No, I think we should still be friends. I have made my decision. No, Why can we not be friends? Well, it makes no sense. You... It makes no sense. Get off my back. But, no, okay, okay. Andy Kindler, ladies and gentlemen. Judge Andy's decision, decision was, was super stupid. stupid. It, it was, it was unbelievably annoying. Dumb. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode of Kids Court, there's lots more. They should be appearing at the side of me or in the top of the screen or maybe they're rolling along the bottom. Bernie, can you see anything? I can I don't, my eyes don't work. Ta-da!